How long is it? Okay. So it's been so far for you. It's been good so far. How much more comfortable do you just feel? I mean, going, you know, what is it now? Num your camp number three? Yeah, this is year three, so. I mean, I definitely feel a lot more comfortable in terms of uh, the offensive scheme, um, being in the same system for three years, uh, same coaching staff. Um, it's, it's been great. I definitely feel like I kind of have a little mastery of the, the system and now just really focusing on the details of my work. How much, uh, you know, this week Jacoby sort of taking over a lot of the first team reps. Describe the difference between him and Deshaun, just in maybe the way that, you know, the, the way they throw the ball, you know, the way they, they kind of command the huddle, that yeah. sort of thing. I mean, I think there's a lot of similarities in terms of how they both command the huddle, how they know the offense, how they know what we want to do as a team. Um, I mean, they're both obviously extremely talented. Both have had a lot of success. And, you know, me personally, I'm looking forward to working with both of them. We, uh, we talked to Jerome Ford after the game on Friday. He was talking about scrambling up and how important that is. Mm -hmm. Sean focused on Jacoby, Dobbs. Has that been a point of emphasis for you guys kind of throughout this offseason? Yeah, it was definitely something we wanted to improve on, um, especially knowing the type of quarterbacks we had in our room. Um, you know, just the fundamentals of scramble drill, whether you're deep, go deep, short, stay short, and just things like that. And it's definitely something I think that we've improved on and obviously looking to continue to improve on it. With all the injuries at receiver, how much maybe does that put a little more onus on you and David at the tight end spot to to kind of supplement what they what what, what they don't have maybe at receiver? Um, I, I mean, we don't really discuss that. Um, I, I think our main thing is just to come out and do our job, whatever we're asking. All the other guys that are in the receiver room are going to step up and make plays. So, you know, our big thing is just focus on what we can control and whatever we're asked to do. Harrison, what, what are you hoping to, not so much show this year, but you know, to take your game to the next level mm -hmm. and kind of make yourself a, an integral part mm -hmm. of this offense and, and someone that they can count on in a, a big situation? What, what are you hoping to do? Yeah, um, like you said, just be accountable. Um, consistency, whether that's run blocking, pass blocking, route running, and catching the ball. I think the biggest thing for a tight end and being a, a big part of it is being consistent and have the play caller and the quarterbacks having trust in you. And you know that's what I'm looking to show is whenever my number's called is to go out and do what I'm asked to do. Obviously, you've got the natural gift of size. You can't teach that. What's, what's been, I guess, one of the more challenging things for you to work on within mm -hmm. your game? Um, I mean, I'm trying to improve every aspect of my game, um, whether that's run blocking, pass blocking, and route running. But, you know, it's not easy blocking Miles Garrett and Jadavian Clowney every day. So it's definitely something that we, we try to work on. Um, a lot of people struggle to do it, but we're just trying to be consistent within that and, and doing whatever we can to do to, to try to neutralize it. David, uh, do anything for the room when he got that new contract? Um, not yet, but we, we got some yeah, stuff so. in the works, yeah. yeah. When, when you got here, um, obviously you were a prolific pack. Sort of up your blocking game a little bit. Did you have to sort of learn, like David has talked about, how he had to learn to love block. Yeah, I, I definitely you think. Have to do that? Uh, like I would say most tight ends that come into college uh, or from college to the NFL were caught a lot of balls, balls in college. So um, early on in my career in college, I was asked to block a lot. That's that's really how I got on the field and how I was talking about being consistent was. I, I think I gained trust of the coaching staff through blocking. So, and then my role just expanded. So, it's definitely something that is a lot different from college in terms of who you're asked to block. Um, but it's definitely something that, as our tight end room, we try to love and try to compete and just do whatever we can to do. So we just the secondary had, you know, in practice. What stands out about them in your mind, you know, as an offensive guy? Yeah, I mean, they're obviously extremely talented. There's a lot of guys that can rotate in, uh, corners, safeties. Our linebackers cover great. So every day it's a competition, and you know they're just forcing us to get better. So it's a good thing. Is there a dramatic difference when, obviously, they brought in Deshaun, but they're getting Jacoby ready because he's going to have to, at least the first part of the season, be out there. Is there a dramatic difference between those two quarterbacks and maybe what your role will be? Um, I'm, I'm not really sure right now, but I mean, like I said earlier, they're both obviously extremely talented. Um, and as our tight end room always says, whatever we're asked to do, we're going to go out there and do it, whoever's playing. Um, and, you know, that's really what we're focused on right now. Each quarterback has their own traits and strengths yeah. and yeah. things they I mean, do better I mean, like, than others. So, yeah. like, what do, you, what do you see that is a, a difference between uh, Jacoby and uh, Deshaun? 
Um, obviously, they're both extremely talented, but uh, they both command the huddle well. They both um, make the checks and everything well. And uh, I mean, in terms of maybe mobility, but Jacoby can get out of the pocket and make plays as well. But I mean, they're both been playing really well during camp, so there's not much to really pinpoint there. Maybe a question for Coach Harrison, but you know, a lot of people last year, was you, David, you know, Hooper, and Carlson before he got hurt. Mm -hmm. looks at it now, you and David are really the only ones with a lot of NFL experience, and you know, there's Miller and a lot of other guys. Does this team truly need like that third tight end, or do you think that's something you and David can lock down? Just with um, I mean, I'm I'm not really sure in terms of what kind of schemes and stuff we want to run. Um, you know, last year we ran a lot of 13 personnel. Um, I'm not sure this year, but I mean, our whole t tight end room is extremely talented, as you've seen so far during camp and in the preseason games. So, um, you know, all, all we really talk about and focus on in our room is just getting better every day, and I think we've all done that and just look to continue to do that. You talk about yeah. getting better. Getting better. How big are the next two practices against uh, against the Eagles? Yeah, it's uh, it's exciting too. Um, you get to go against someone besides your teammates, um, and it, it's a big deal uh, just to continue to take that step, uh, building. You know the the chemistry of the offense against another team. So I think we're all pretty excited, and the Eagles are a really talented group on defense. So we're we're ready for this challenge. Last year you guys did that against the Giants. Mm -hmm. Just what did you take from that experience that you can apply going into this year? Um, I mean it's going to be competitive. That was the biggest thing. Is obviously training camp practices are really fast, but you know when you go against a different team, it's full speed ahead. It's like a it's basically a mini scrimmage, a mini preseason game. So. You got to be ready to go. You get more out of those last practices. Just from a, I'm, I'm speaking like from a pure preparation mm -hmm. standpoint. You get more. Do you think as a player you can get more out of a joint practice than maybe a preseason game? Um, I'm not 100 percent sure, um, but I would say the joint practice is definitely you can kind of work on more intricacies of your game in terms of the one on ones and stuff. Just working things like that. Um, but I think they both prepare you really well for the game. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you, sir.